how do you allow, like you said, a vortex is full, right? Because <laughs> it's funny, because that's how I feel like It's not mom. full as in full up. It's got a lot in it and more coming. Yeah. And how do I allow the allowing to take place with everything? Because what you said that stuck with me a lot was... By understanding that you're not the law of attraction and you're not the stage manager thing came up because Esther has a dear friend who is a comedian on cruise ships. And so she called Esther after a very uncomfortable cruise where the cruise director, the stage manager, was not good at his job. And Esther's friend has been on cruise ships for so many years, she knows what the job is. And so she was complaining about how this guy did not know what he was doing. And Esther said, Abraham has a message for you. <laughs> you are not the stage manager. You are one of the acts. You are tending to what you are about. Let the stage manager be the stage manager. And then first chance we could get hold of it in front of a crowd like you are. We began explaining, you're not the stage manager and you're not the law of attraction. You are the tender to your own point of attraction. Because when you decided to come into this experience, these things were already set up and you knew it and you jumped in just like those kids off the mountain. You jumped in eagerly. You knew for sure that life would cause you to ask and you knew that that asking would summon the cooperative components and you knew that you would be the receiver of the inspiration to be in the right place at the right time to be ready to receive it to experience the pleasure of getting to watch it unfold not just receive something already full-blown already completely manifested with all of its facets but to be present in the moment your wonderful words present in the moment and moving in the direction of the impulses that are inspired so that you can enjoy and savor every single bit of the unfolding of the creation that is your creation humans so often think I just want to come figure out what I want ask for it and get it and we say that's not pleasurable to you you think it would be because it might be more pleasurable than asking and thinking that you're not getting but to get to witness the unfolding of it to feel the ideas coming to recognize your part in it Esther has never been more happy for a moment in her life than she was on that airplane yesterday she knew for sure that she was witnessing a manifestation coming to being something that she cares about and asked for and she got to witness the unfolding of it she got to see each participant play their part in the unfolding of it you see that's the way it works for you there is nothing that you cannot be or do or have but that statement alone can overwhelm you so we'll add another one there is nothing that you need not be ready for it in its unfolding we'll offer another one when you are happy 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 when you are interested when you are satisfied when you are appreciating when you are loving when you're feeling any of those upper half of the emotional scale kind of things then each thing that unfolds just leads to another and another and another and you feel steady and secure and sure you don't get out of balance unless you spend an inordinate amount of time on the lower half of the emotional scale that's what gets you out of balance because your life keeps asking and if you're spending a bunch of time on the lower half of the scale then you're asking and not letting it in and asking and not letting it in and asking and not letting it in asking and not letting it in so the tension in you is getting greater and greater because you're asking and you're being called but you're not going because you're focused on what is and you're asking and you're getting called but you're not going because you're focused on you're mad at that guy and you're mad at that and you're mad at that and you're blaming them and you're worried about that and you're justifying that and you're defending that and the reason you know you're out of balance is because you don't feel good you feel tension or you feel lethargic or you feel bored but when you're tending to your point of attraction you feel interested you feel eager you feel fun you feel full and it moves from subject to subject but the way you feel is pretty steady and you know people like that you're like that you know people like that but you know those teachers like you and like Esther and like you 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 so many of you room full of you you so often feel like it's your job to carry the responsibility of what everybody's learning from you but you're not the stage manager and you're not the law of attraction and you just gotta leave them tending to their own vibration to them and you know 
how you help them most by teaching through the clarity of your example so what's that example who that guy seems so clear oh he seems so appreciative he seems so eager about life looking for fun complimenting never criticizing helping always adding to not taking from always advocating for not protesting against you can feel when you're tending to your point of attraction and that'll keep you in balance you cannot get out of balance you know why because you can't ask for more than you have the ability to receive if this time space reality has the wherewithal to inspire a desire within you it has the wherewithal to deliver the goods you just got to figure out how to be in the right place at the right time to receive it's already been revealed but are you receptive are you realizing it and if you're not happy you're not if you're not eager you're not I appreciate that if you like this video don't forget to subscribe we'll see you in the next